Hey everyone. Well, in today's video, we are going to learn about uh, troubleshooting. It's a troubleshooting part two. And today we are going to create some issue or application debugging, you can say, and then we'll fix it. You might have seen, this is a very common issue you might have seen uh, so many times if you're working on Kubernetes already. If not even in your lab, when you were trying to connect ACR with AKS and things like that, uh, you might have seen it. Uh, so today we are going to explore it uh, and we'll be fixing that forever because once we know what it is and why it is, how to fix it, now we know what to do. So in the previous video, we learned a couple of basic commands that will help us to understand or help us to troubleshoot better, help us to debug better. So let's get started. Before I share my screen, let me take you through the scenario. Well, the error that we are going to fix is image error, image pull error, or uh, image pull back off. Both represent the same thing. So what it is, well, it, it, it simply means uh, your, when you run kubectl apply, hyphen f uh, name of the file dot yaml xyz dot yaml and when you see kubectl get pods uh, one of your pod may be saying image pull error or image pull back off it's just because either the image does not exist or not available you did some mistake while writing the image or you do not have the access to the registry it's that simple so we are going to create the error and we are going to fix it for better understanding. So <clears throat> let me do this. Oh, I need to share the screen first. Let me quickly share the screen. Hope you can see my screen now, right? Now, let me take you through this. Uh, uh, this is the same uh, Kubernetes cluster that I have been working upon. Same two nodes, kubectl get nodes. Two nodes are running on my machine uh on this aks adc dot, uh, hyphen cube you know if you're following my videos you know the same cluster from last like 10 or more than 10 videos i think so let's come to the point so what we are going to do we are going to run this uh, kubectl apply we no need to go ahead through the basics again and again right so kubectl apply we are going to apply this yaml file that i already have with me and uh, not bad uh, this this happens when you get so much excited. In control, there we go. Now, if I do kubectl get pods, we have all these pods running. You can see that, right? Now, let me clear this out. Okay, uh, just to just to uh, let me clear this out first and do kubectl get pods. I forget. Uh, I should be more. Uh, articulate and expressive while I'm doing this lab, not just rushing to complete it. So I need to do this. So you can see all the status is running. And here, if you mess with the image, we'll start getting image pull error, okay? So let me do that. And how we do that, we are going to change the or we'll create something, something, you'll know. For, for example, uh, on this YAML file, this is the image. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add something here, which will make it non-existent, okay? Not available in the, the registry. So I'll type it like testing. So it, this is the correct image name. I added something. So this image does not exist, okay? The entire tag is changed. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna save it, come out, I'm gonna do kubectl apply hyphen f, and there we go. Now, if I do kubectl get pods, okay, my bad, my bad, get pods. You see, we start getting error image pull right here. If I need to show you, properly right here, error image pull. Now, if you remember, we did 
cover a few basic commands that will help us to troubleshoot. If your guess is we are going to describe the part, then of course you are correct. Let's go ahead and, oh, I forgot to copy the name of the part, kubectl get parts already. kubectl describe part. We need to know what is happening, right? Though we have created the issue, but in order to understand it, we need to describe the pod so that we can get into the depth. We've already seen the kind of output describe gives, but here, what is uh, more important is, you can see the step-by-step -step things are happening. Error image pull back off, you see? Uh, error image pull and error image pull back off, both are the same thing, okay? It is uh, uh, what I write here, fail to pull image, all right? It does, it retries. It, it, it's more like fail to pull image. It start giving error image pull after a couple of retries. It confirms, then it, Kubernetes pull back off. That's where it happens. So it start giving this error. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen it uh, quite often. If you guys are beginners and starting learning Kubernetes, and if you're doing with me through AKS, then of course, when whenever we uh, integrating ACR and forgetting the uh, changing the image name or tag as per the ACR, we'll start getting this image, right? This error, not the image, yeah. So, and now we know how this error appears. So we also know how to get rid of this error now. Okay, so I'm gonna insert it. I'm gonna remove it, come on, delete. And I'm gonna come back, saving it. Now, if I do kubectl apply and check it out, it should fix the error because now, even if you see it, it says configured rest is unchanged, unchanged kubectl get pods, voila. And now it has fixed. You see all the pods are running. So it's a very common error and that's the only reason I covered a few basic commands, troubleshooting part one, this is troubleshooting part two. In next video, we are gonna do troubleshooting part three. Well, thank you for watching and you have a good day.